watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Good afternoon. I'm Mary Kelby. And I'm Chris Raggy. We begin this afternoon. Hope turns to even more heartbreak in Brooklyn today. The newborn baby delivered when his parents were killed in a horrific hit and run crash has died. Today, police are searching for the driver who left the scene. The CBS News Catherine Brown live at Bellevue Hospital in Kipps Bay with an update for us this afternoon. Catherine? Good afternoon, Chris and Mary, and sources tell CBS2 that police are looking for two men in connection with this accident. Those men believed to be the driver and the passenger of the other car involved. That search is ongoing right now, as in Brooklyn, the Orthodox community grieves a tremendous loss. Father, mother, and baby. A heartbroken community grieving deeply for Nathan and Razie Glauber, a young Orthodox couple killed in a car accident. And now friends and family are grieving for the newborn son they never got to meet. They were so together, do everything together. Just a, a beautiful couple. The fact of the matter is there are three innocent people that died here. The young couple was on their way to the hospital Saturday night. Razie, seven months pregnant and in pain, worried about her unborn child. When the livery cab they were riding in collided with this BMW just after midnight. The driver and a passenger in that car ran off, leaving the Glaubers dying in the street. Doctors were able to deliver their unborn child. He survived just 52 hours before he, too, passed away, leaving a family and a community shattered and angry. We will be very vocal and strong, demanding that the prosecution, in this case, charge these cowards who left the scene of an accident, not even bothering to go over to take a look of how the people in the other car are, literally walked away, that they be charged with triple homicide, and nothing less than that. The BMW is registered to a Bronx woman, but police say they spoke to her and don't believe she was behind the wheel at the time of the accident. She is charged with insurance fraud for letting someone not on her insurance policy drive the car. Police say they now have the name of that suspect and a picture, but so far don't have anyone in custody. Less than a day after Nathan and Razie Glauber were laid to rest in an emotional ceremony, their son will be buried too. Friends and family say he won't have a funeral, but will be given a name before being buried alongside his parents. Well, family friends say that baby will be named after his father. Meantime, Councilman David Greenfield and Stephen Levine are offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to these two men. That's the very latest live at Bellevue Hospital. I'm Catherine Brown, CBS 2 News. Catherine, thank you. At